This video continues the series on how to synchronize your iPad to iTunes and this video will cover the syncing of movies and TV shows. So I'm using iTunes 11 and I have the sidebar visible on the left so I can actually see the movie library. So it's the, the movie library and the TV shows library is the, the two libraries that we're interested in in this video. If your sidebar is not visible you can um, change it in the view menu so if I hide the sidebar it puts everything up into the top there and that's the default for iTunes 11 and there's all the, the libraries the device is over here so I prefer mine this way so the movies in the movie library come from movies that I have ripped from CDs that I own or I may have purchased them from iTunes or downloaded them from some other means and what I need to decide is how many of those movies do I want to copy over to my iPad to watch. I can't get them all because there are too many of them, so you need to be selective on which movies you copy across. Getting your movies into your movie library can take you some time. And if you're not sure how to actually rip CDs, then in the description there'll be a link to another video I've done on how to rip DVDs using Handbrake, which is free. Uh, there's the TV shows, so the TV shows again are TV shows that I've ripped from uh, DVDs that I own. At the bottom on the status bar it indicates how many TV shows are in that library and how long it would take to watch them all. More particularly uh, how, ma how many uh, gigabytes of space it would take. So there is uh, no way that I could get all of those TV shows on the iPad. You have to be selective. Uh, take the first uh, the first ten of a series, the ones that you haven't watched. Uh, we'll look at how you do that in a minute. All right, so to synchronize, let's go to the device. So uh, you need to connect your iPad to your computer, and let's look at movies first. So you need to se select the movies tab, and first of all, ensure that you select sync movies. Uh, without that, nothing is going to be synced across. I'm um, looking at the bottom there, you can see how much space I have. It's 5.82 gigabyte free on my iPad, and uh, most of that is video, so you know, 30, nearly 33 gigabytes of video are already on there. Uh, I can't get a lot more on there. And I've got to make some decisions about what uh, movies I'd like to copy across. Uh, so if I want all of them, I can automatically include all the movies, and, uh, and you can see at the bottom there in the, in the status bar there that it's over capacity so I, I, I haven't even got enough space for that so I can't do that um, but there's some selections there so maybe I want to take uh, all unwatched movies it's still going to be too many so you decide which of those criteria you want so maybe the most recent unwatched and I don't even know what that is so I've never sort of used those use these ones here um, all I do is select sync movies turn that one off and then go and select the actual movies that I'd like to sync across. So there's one there, and perhaps I want to take another one, this one. And as you do that, you'll notice that the capacity bar moves, so you can see how much space you've got free. Apply the changes, and that starts the syncing process. So up the top is the syncing process. It's waiting for the sync to start, and there are six or seven steps for that syncing process to go through. Copying um, apps and backing up and then finally copying the movie over or if there was a movie already on there that I'd want removed it would take that off. So you can see the copying across there of, of the movie Bullseye because the other one is already on there. That's a, That was done in the last sync. So it's copying over and it would take some time depending on the length of that movie. If I wanted to download and copy across any movies I'd purchased from the iTunes store I can do that through the iTunes uh, software going to the store and selecting movies and purchased so any movie that I purchased through my iTunes account is sitting up in my account some of them I've downloaded, so all but two of those have been downloaded onto my hard drive and are sitting there in the movies library, and I could copy those across. Uh, if I wanted Centrillion, so I could download that one, putting in my Apple ID password, that would download that movie to my movies library, and then I could copy it across. So, for example, Harry and Walter, if I go back into movies, 
there it is there Harry and Walter go to New York so that's been downloaded it's sitting in my music, uh, movies library uh, on my hard drive and I can then sync that one across and the same goes for TV shows any TV uh, seasons that I purchased online are sitting up here so this one for example there's two episodes of, of, of this one that I could download from the cloud and watch uh, and sync across to the iPad. So syncing TV shows. There's the TV shows library. So there are you know, a number of uh, whole DVD seasons. So for example, this one, season three of Kojak. And they're all sitting there in the, in the TV shows library. To sync those across to the iPad, select the TV Shows tab, tick, select Sync TV Shows. At the moment, there's 20 episodes of TV shows that are on the iPad already. Uh, and then you can you can actually select whole shows or individual episodes. So you get the automatically uh, uh, include all unwatched episodes of all the shows, or you can start to do some selected shows. And then I could pick. Uh, this one, All Saints Season 9, uh, all unwatched ones. Or I could do the three newest or whatever the criteria I wanted. There's the, the, the selections that you could do. Uh, if you didn't want to do that way, all I've done here is, is select Sync TV Shows, actually select the show, and then tick on the individual episode. So if we look at something else, say French Fields, for example, and I wanted Season 2. If I select Season 2, then all of Season 2 will be copied across if I just want two episodes of that season. And you can see two there. Apply the changes and it's going to sync across. 2.4 gigabyte space is free. So as each time I sync something new, the space is reducing. But that's now syncing across and waiting for the sync to start. So the sync starting six steps. Now it's copying across those two episodes. So how do you view your TV shows and movies? On the iPad, you can view video in the Videos app. And that's divided into either films or TV shows. You can also go straight to the, the store and actually purchase a, a movie or a TV show and download it directly to the iPad. So the film that I that copied across is Bullseye. So just opening that film, tapping to open that film will play that film. And if I want to delete that film from the iPad without syncing it back to iTunes, I can also tap edit, tap the cross, and I can delete the video from the iPad, but it will still be sitting there in iTunes in my movies library. So I will do that So I need the space. And done. TV programs. So I have some existing TV programs already there. This is the French Fields one that I just copied across and there are the two episodes. Tapping on individual episode will start that playing on the iPad. Navigation button to go back. And again, if I wanted to delete that show, edit, and I can delete all of those videos that I just copied across rather than do it through iTunes and then done. Now if you want to download and purchase a TV show or a film straight from the iTunes store. Tap store and you have a number of menu options at the bottom. So purchased will give you access to what you've already purchased in the store. So you could select a movie or TV show you've already purchased and download it again. So if I went into movies that I've already purchased, I can download Bullseye again from the cloud, tap the cloud, because I've already bought it. Or if I want a new one, I can just go into, just go to the TV shows, search for TV show, and I can either buy by the episode or by the series, so, so I wanted to buy this one, episode one, buy the episode, and you have to put in your iTunes password, and that will download to the iPad. And you can download it. And then there's a downloads tab which shows you the 
time left before it's downloaded. Once that show is downloaded, you go back into your videos app and tap TV programs. The video is there, the series is there. And I've only selected elected to download one episode of that series and I can get more episodes. There's two more in that series. I can show the complete series uh, and get information because I purchased it from iTunes. So I'm syncing the iPad back to iTunes and it's now copying across that first episode of The Thick of It, that show I just purchased. You can see it up here. It's gone through its seven steps of syncing and the last step is transferring purchases. So once that syncing is finished, that show should appear in the TV Shows tab of your iPad and it also will appear in your TV shows library in iTunes. So if I click that, it's already listed there. As long as you have selected view your TV shows in the cloud because that episode is sitting up in the iTunes account in the cloud. It's not actually on the hard drive until it syncs across. It's still copying at the moment so it's going to be the way to go. And you can see the indicator here, the progress, it's as it downloads and copies from the iPad back to iTunes and st is stored in the TV shows library. At the moment I can't play it because it's not downloaded yet. It's still sitting up there in the cloud, almost finished copying. And as it finishes copying, it will not be greyed out any longer and it will be able to be watched using iTunes on the computer. So if I clicked it now, it would start playing that episode on the computer. So I go back to the iPad and into TV shows and scroll down the thick of it. There's the, the new episode. So that was purchased on the iPad by downloading directly from iTunes. It's now been synced back to my computer where it's now a backup.